What is going on, guys? Where am I? I'm in the Channel Awesome office. Who is this guy? It's Doug Walker, the nostalgia critic. Hey! How you doing? <laughs> thanks so much for joining me on this review. Yeah, thanks for joining me in my office. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. We're, we're currently working on a very special review for Channel Awesome. It's going to be out very soon. I hope you guys enjoy that. A very special episode of Indeed. Nostalgia Greg. It's going to be fun. <laughs> like those after school specials. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight we went and saw a movie called Passengers. It took me to a really cool theater here in Chicago. Hollywood Boulevard. Okay. I, I talk about all the time my reviews. If you're near there, check it out. Beautiful. And Hollywood Palms. Wonderful theaters. Yeah, it was awesome. They served food. There was menus and drinks and everything. I've never been to a theater like that. No, there's a couple of them, but this one has like some cool themes and like themed theaters and stuff. There's a Casablanca theater that has a starry sky and a Wizard of Oz. It's amazing. Just it was go really check it cool. Out. Yeah. So Passengers is directed by this guy's name, who I don't want to screw up, and uh, he made The Imitation <laughs> Game, which I thought was a great film. This film stars Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence, and is the tale of two passengers who are on a spacecraft traveling to Homestead 2, a new Earth of sorts, and they both are woken up in their hibernation chambers far too early. Overall, I was excited for this movie. I thought it was really cool looking. I like the trailers for it. I like science fiction movies that have isolation involved. I love Alien. There's some anime films, some really crappy anime films called Lily Cat. Ooh, crappy anime. <laughs> when, when you sell it like that, yeah, yeah, I'd be excited too. Oh, I love my, I love my crappy anime, but uh, I, I love isolation science fiction, uh, even some of the more shitty ones. And unfortunately, I found this movie disappointingly bland. I'm not sure how you felt about it. You know, you know, uh, if you told me the idea, I'd be like, oh, okay, like that has potential, that has uh, some neat stuff. And uh, when I saw the trailer, I was just sort of like, well, okay, maybe if there's some twist or surprise or whatever, and pretty much what you see in the trailer is, again, not getting the spoilers or anything, but exactly what you think you're gonna get. There's nothing surprising in this film at all. The actors are just kind of doing their thing. I didn't True. even get that much chemistry or relatability off of them, and the whole film just has it starts off with the ship being an autopilot. I felt like the whole movie was kind of in that autopilot. That's a really good, that's a really good example. I think they're both very charming actors, obviously. Yeah. It's Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. And I do actually think they worked fairly well together in the movie. Yeah. I think they're both good in this movie. I just feel like they weren't given much to do in this movie because it starts off, there's a lot of shining homages. I think we all, <laughs> we all picked up oh, on God. the, the, the bar scene. 2001, Gravity. Sure. Gravity. Another yeah. one, like, oh, that's that movie. That's that movie. And yeah. there's sort of all these movies. Nothing really felt that original. Outside of maybe the design of the ship, like the outside design. It was design. really cool. It was sort of like I a thought that was cool. Yeah, in the, the front, it looks almost like a cell. I'm like, yeah. okay, that's that's cool. But everything else, I'm like, okay, I've seen that from this movie and this movie and this movie. Nothing nothing felt new about it. So, uh, some friends of mine read the original script for this movie. It was on the blacklist for many years, which, if you don't know, is a list of unproduced scripts that are very popular. And according to them, there is a revelation of sorts that occurs in the third act of that script that this film took and put in the first act so that we know ahead of time what's going on. And according to my friends, it was a lot more of an impact in the script when you learn these details later. It, do you, you know, kind of understand what I'm, what Yeah, I'm no, I do. And honestly, watching this film, again, I won't give anything away, but I'm watching this thinking, you know, if they told this in a different order, yeah. wouldn't have been Ten times more interesting. Yes, definitely. Like you could pretty much tell the exact same story. You'd have to change some things with like the performances and stuff. But I'm like, if you just told this in a different order, immediately it would have got my attention more. I would have been more fascinated more. There would have been twists and turns and That's stuff. True. And it's so rare that I say that because a lot of times they try to tell stories out of order yeah. and it's like there's no reason for it or it's a gimmick but here I think that's what would have made it interesting. Definitely. There are things I like about this movie. I think it's a really well shot film. I think the special effects are beautiful. There's a really cool sequence where the ship loses gravity and Jennifer Lawrence is swimming and the water sort of floats up into the room and collides with each other. It's a seamlessly blended movie for me in between uh, the CG and the, the real life uh, effects. I think it's a really great looking movie. I like the music too. It's a little over stated at times. Boy, man, I was just about to say, yeah, because you're right, it's not bad music, but there are times where I'm like, if there was no music here, again, it would just make so many of these scenes better. Yeah, and you feel the isolation more. It is a little overstated at times, but I like some of the themes that the composer uh, did. I missed who, who composed the movie. Thomas Newman? 
Is movie. that it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a great composer and uh, a little loud sometimes. In regards to this movie, I enjoyed, I would say, the first act quite a bit. I liked the setup for, for Passengers. I liked Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence wandering this ship trying to figure out what's going on. It's just that along the way, the film failed to really impact me or give me a reason to get into it anymore. And eventually towards the third act, there's another sort of thing that just kind of happens and they have to deal with it. And it's so brief and so quick and just thrown away in a second that it felt almost like they were like, hey, they should probably do something. Well, we'll just have them do this with that. And it was just like nothing. It had no real impact on the story other than to be like, hey, here are some things on the ship you didn't know about, so we need a way to explain that to you. So we're just going to give you this little thing to happen. And to me, it felt really out of left field. A, a lot of the film kind of feels like it's building up to something. You know, just something. Yeah. And every time you think that something has come, it's like, oh, no, that was nothing. And then you think, oh, here's another something. No, no, that was really nothing, yeah, too. And then it. when it's all done, you're kind of like, was this it? Was yeah. this really what it was all amounting to? Yeah. And even when you do get to the end, you're like, aren't there, like, five or six plot holes or ways around this? Or it's you true. know, It's true. There's even, uh, you know, again, without spoiling anything, like, literally the last few shots feature an actor that's just in this movie. Like, he's just there. I'm like, what? Doesn't like, even get a line. It could have been an extra or anybody, but no, we had to have this person. I guess he's probably friends with the director or something. I don't know. Something, yeah. I guess just from when it started, maybe I'm just spoiled with good movies and stuff like that, but maybe because <laughs> I have seen kind of this idea done before, visually I've seen it done before, I've kind of seen these actors do this thing before. Uh, while none of it was, like, awful, I never rolled my eyes and said, True. oh, this is stupid. Uh, nothing grabbed me about That's it. True. Nothing seemed extraordinary. Nothing seemed like, hey, God, here's something new that we're going to do and we're really going to, or even something old, we're going to put a new twist on. Just nothing popped out at me at all. So yeah. it's not a film I think is like terrible because this is getting really panned uh, by critics. I don't think it's necessarily worth that. I, I also agree. I don't think it's that bad either. But, but it's just there's nothing that interesting about it. Yeah, I think that really is what boils down to it for me. It's a film that could have been really cool and has some investing scenes and has some investing character moments and it does have a slight moral twist in there about their romance and it gives you sort of a what if scenario where you're like, man, what if I was in this scenario? And it makes you ask those questions but then it doesn't really have the guts to really push it farther and so in the long run I'm not really going to recommend that you see Passengers I think it's a good looking movie with good performances I'm going to give Passengers a C plus uh, I would give it a C minus. <laughs> but pretty much C. We'll compromise and say C. Yeah. I, I say if you watch the trailer and you're like oh that this looks enjoyable this looks like a good movie if that's what you think out of the trailer, you'll probably like it fine. Yeah. Um, but if you're looking for twists and turns and surprises or something, you know, really new, you, you're not going to get it here. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching our review of Passengers. As I said, it's my buddy Doug Walker. Check out Channel Awesome. I've linked their channel in the description below. We're doing something really cool very soon for a very cool movie. It might have uh, some Star Wars people in it. A couple. A couple. Might. <laughs> Look forward to that. Thanks for joining me, buddy. Thanks for having me. It was great to have you on. And as always, guys, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.